What's up guys, welcome to another episode of Sneakerhead213. Before I move forward, as always, hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe if you're a new viewer, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on my latest content. With that out of the way, let's get started. This is really cool unboxing. So these shoes are due release on uh, February 1st. I got them a little bit earlier because um, like some of the low-key uh, sneaker boutiques that I know of uh, released them. And other websites also that are well-known release these ahead of time. Um, so uh, let's get started. Um, they came from a store called Feature. So if you're familiar with Feature, it's based out in uh, North uh, New York, somewhere in New York. And uh, here's the receipt. I want to show you the other side only because that's my personal info. And they retail for $220. And I'll tell you why the price is so high here in a little bit, but um, you can tell this is going to be a boost shoe. Looking at the box here, we see the yellow and white lines there, and then Adidas.com there. The top of the box, the same. Um, this side of the box, Adidas branding there, and then it says boost here. And on the bottom, just regular yellow and white lines. And today we are doing the review on the Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 LTD 5th year anniversary. These are, these. this is actually the official um, product code. A lot of you guys asked me, so there it is right there. And it is a US size 9.5. And, a half. and um, these pretty much were created to and designed in a way that it kind of like, um, you know, pays homage to the Energy Boost, which was the very first Adidas Boost shoe back in 2015, I believe. Um, but Boost was already introduced um, in the sneaker game since 2013 is when it uh, debuted the Boost material. And so this kind of pays uh, homage to that first Energy Boost colorway. And you will see here in a minute just how. So when you open it up, you see the regular um, paper wrapping from Boost there. You see that there. And then you see this right here, guys. The Adidas Ultra Boost 4.0 LTD 5th year anniversary. A very nice shoe, guys. Um, I like the simplistic look of it. Um... So yeah, and then here's the other one guys, very very light shoes, you, know, you guys are familiar with Ultra Boost so no need to talk too much on this but I want to show you guys some details. Like I said these guys retail for $220 and they kind of pay homage to the Boost technology material that Adidas has been using for years now. and. Um, one of the first shoes that you know was debuted with Boost technology was the Adidas Pure Boost, oh, I'm mean, Energy Boost, sorry. And the Energy Boost was pretty much like this uh, neon yellowish um, color with black. And that's why you can see kind of hints of that like neon yellow there. And it kind of matches the box to be honest, you see that guys? I assume that's why they make the, uh, the Boost boxes this color because you know it's pretty much the Energy Boost that started it all. All the hype with the uh, Boost material. But you can see it there in this 3M material. Um, also, the shoelaces, they're flat black. But the aglets are also like a neonish yellow color. The insole, guys, is your regular 4.0 insole with that same yellow colorway to kind of pay homage to the Energy Boost. So that's kind of cool. The inner liner is mesh material. Very, very soft as always. Um, also, these right here, these three stripes here the energy boost has like this um extra layer over it that's like a gray plastic just as we see here so that's more of that um respect that's being paid to that first silhouette that started it all same thing on this side with the three stripes the prime knit guys on these is your 4.0 prime knit um let me show you guys a lot of you guys have asked me how elastic are these and they're pretty um stretchable and elastic but they're not as stretchy as the 3.0. That's why I love the 3.0 better than the 4.0 silo, uh, prime knit. But um, if you can see, there's hints of gray and black on the prime knit upper. And those gray hints, I believe, are actually 3M material. Yeah, they're 3M material, so they're very reflective when the um, light hits them at night. The Ultra Boost here, we have on the heel cup in silver. And then on this side, just some more of that black heel cup. Um, these do fit true to size, as, as, um, as I mentioned in previous videos of 4.0 reviews. The Ultra Boost in all white there on the midsole. And then the torsion system up here is in white. But down here on the torsion system bar, it's in that energy 
uh, boost yellow there, or that neon yellow, whatever you would call it, and the continental outsole there in black. All in all, this is a really nice shoe for a fifth anniversary. There's the tags that it comes with, just in case you're wondering. These retail for 220. I think the price is a little high, but um, I can see why they kind of try to hype it up for marketing purposes so that um, the demand will be higher. But um, in my opinion, I think these conservatively priced, I feel like they're worth 170, 180 range, the regular price of Ultra Boost. There's nothing really too special other than the 3M on the upper that's kind of speckled in, you know, kind of sprinkled all around the black upper. Um, other than that, guys, the this shoe is pretty much a regular Ultra Boost shoe. I'm not going to lie and sugarcoat anything. It's really nice and stuff, but um, I've seen better ones that I feel could have been worth this price tag, 220 um, I did sell these, so these aren't available, but I just wanted to show you guys a really good, you know, review of these uh, fifth year anniversary Ultra Boost. Let me know what you guys think on these comments. Uh, what do you guys think about these shoes? Are they worth the 220 price tag? Do you agree with me? They should be about around 170 to 180 ish. Um, even 200 would be priced a little bit too high for these. But let's get a thumbnail real quick. Um, so these guys, I I would rate these considering the price. The price is what's really really um, kind of like a downer here. But considering the price, I would rate these a good, you know what, like a 7 out of 10. I would have rated them an 8 if the price would have been just the 180, but um, <clears throat> that's just my opinion, you know. I'm going to keep it real in my reviews. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. But um, they look nice. You c they're wearable with a lot of colors. The yellow kind of kills it a little bit, but, I mean, you can't really tell it. But they're, you can wear black and white shoes with a lot of stuff, so... Let me know what you guys think. I like these a lot, um, but the price tag is just kind of the bad part of it. Um, I also like how they kind of differentiated this 5th year anniversary Ultra Boost from the other ones, uh, the other regular Ultra Boost with the 3 m sp uh, sprinkled all around the upper. Looks really nice. You can really see it better in the shadows and in darker areas, so that's really nice. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new viewer. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.